Hello and welcome back to the Kieran Carlin channel and I didn't know if you were aware of this but I can see directly inside your brain and I know what you googled last night you big bloody perverts the lot of you. Filth, pure filth, don't search that again, okay? Because you can't unsee that. Now one thing that I couldn't see if you had already seen is the bagel man. This man has gone uh, relatively viral, so to say, over the past week. And oh, ho, 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 there's three beautiful words, that I'm doing here, three beautiful words that he utters, that he says, that comes out of his mouth, that he goes, and noise comes out, which that you will love and will resonate with all of you long-term scribbers of the Karen Carlin channel. Let's have a little look. Why is that okay? Why is it okay for women to say, oh, you're five feet on dating sites? You should be dead. That's okay. Who said that to you here? Nobody. Women in general have said it on dating sites. You think I'm making that shit up? Women in general. He said it. Someone in the outside world has said the words women in general. It's a worldwide bloody movement. He has said women in general in a bagel shop, bagels in general, women in general, reporting for duty, general bagel women, women in general. Not a lot of that made sense. This guy doesn't make sense. I don't know what women's been like, you're tiny, you should be dead. But maybe they have. But I do know he's definitely said women in general. Women in general. Wow. Women in general. When this video came out, I was immediately tagged in it about five times. So I'm really, really happy to know that my legacy will be the term women in general. Put that on my bloody grave when I when I pop it. Just died of what he loved doing. <laughs> women in general! Everywhere I go, I get the same fucking smirk with the biting lip. Shut your mouth. You're not God or my father or my boss. You're not God or my father, or my boss. I believe he says boss, but I really, really like to think that he says forts. You're not my god, or my father, or my forts. You don't own me. Dude, you wanna step outside? Hey. You wanna step outside? Huh? I'm not standing, pal. Hey. Enough, enough. This is a really peculiar situation to be in. Imagine going to buy a bagel, some guy's gone on a fucking mad one, and you're just like, Come on, man, like, why, why are you abusing the people in the shop? And then he's just fucking... <laughs> you shut up, too. Just shut the fuck no. up. Just go ahead and attack me, yeah, dick. Oh, 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 my God. Oh, my God. I just wanted bagels. I just wanted bagels. I recorded the whole thing. I mean, that escalated drastically quickly. Kind of enjoyed it. So if you're wondering what went on in that video, this man is having a go at the bagel lady because apparently she was laughing at his height. He's snapped and he's gone off on a bit of a mad one and said something probably terrible against women. But probably not specifically one woman, maybe women in general. In isolation, I disagree with how this man snapped and acted, but I did immediately have some sort of empathy with him because he probably has been bullied his entire life for being small and he could have been laughed at by the person behind the counter and you don't know how that would affect someone who who's probably about 40 something and has been bullied all his life however i've seen more of this man so i do not well you know i'm not going to make any short jokes but he's not a nice man so i'll make jokes about everything else but his height because he is a bit of a prick. So you don't want to go back to my place? No. You don't want to hang out? No, I'm going home. You don't want to fool around? No. You know I'm spending $750,000, right? It's a lot of money. Right? We'll see. Why not today? I came all the way out to pick you up to hang out for two hours. Okay, this video is a bit weird. Bagel Man has apparently paid three quarters of a million dollars to this lady and I'm not entirely sure what, you know, in exchange for. I assume on the basis of, so, you know, uh, maybe, you know, some stuff in the pant region or the upper pant region. No one's ever called this bit the upper pant region. I might refer to it as that now, the upper pant region. Um, 
But obviously, she doesn't have to do that. I, I can't imagine he has spent, you know, $750,000 on the basis of the state of his car and that the bonnet doesn't shut properly. It's quite hard to get your head around whatever weird situation is going on right there. But at the end of the day, the lady doesn't have to do anything she doesn't want to do. This man's a weirdo, but then he does this. Exactly why this man is, you know, for want of a better word, a bit of a cunt. It's quite clear that he is an incel. If you don't know what an incel is, it's an involuntary celibate. That's someone who can't get their end away. And they're just like, oh, I'm such a good guy. Why do girls always go for the bad guys? It can't be my fault. It can't be my actual personality. I'm just such a bloody great guy. It must be the women's fault. It's the women who are wrong. Women in general, all of the women. I hate them because I'm a weird fucking freak who just hates women deep down because women don't seem to find me attractive. So it's the women's fault, not mine. Couldn't be my personality whatsoever. I, I genuinely, I despise these people. They're scum, they're pure scum. Now this guy got pretty big on Twitter because of the bagel video. And then uh, TMZ caught up with him and uh, you know, uh, just carried out a little interview. Let me just ask, are you homophobic? I, gays don't bother me, I can hang out with them, just like, don't touch me, especially in the private parts. <laughs> I don't have any problem with gays, but uh, don't fucking touch me. That sounds like you have a problem with gay people. Let's see where he goes with this. Would you consider yourself racist? No, I have black friends. Okay. Yeah. Now, if somebody, you know, upsets me and he happens to be black, or steals from me, then yeah, I mean, that word comes out of my mouth, I'm not gonna lie. Whoa! Whoa! Where did that come from? He wasn't even prompted. Now, if somebody, you know, upsets me and he happens to be black or steals from me, then yeah, I mean, that word comes out of my mouth. I'm not gonna lie. He was asked if he was a racist and he said, no, I have black friends. Not a brilliant, you know, uh, justification of being like, yeah, definitely not racist. My friends are black. Never say that. That's not, you know, that doesn't work. But then all of a sudden, completely unprompted, he's just like, but you know, if, uh, I don't know how to word I don't even know how to word this and, and I'm like taking the piss. He's just suddenly like, oh, if a black person steals from me or annoys me, well then yeah, I do say that word. What? What? Where did that come from? What are you doing? Why? Why are you... S <laughs> I don't... <laughs> what? That's mad. That is one of the maddest things I've ever heard. No, I have black friends. Okay. Yeah. Now, if somebody, you know, upsets me and he happens to be black or steals from me, then yeah, I mean, that word comes out of my mouth. I'm not going to lie. I don't know about you and what you particularly think, but I'm not a fan of that word. I don't say that word. I don't quite understand why white people always, you know, are like, why can't I say it? It's in a bloody song. Just don't. Just don't say it. That's the one thing. Like, that's the least you could do, really. It's just not say it. If you want to sing, uh, you know, the Jay-Z and Kanye West song where they're in Paris, then just, you know, just don't sing that bit. <laughs> I got my... In Paris. All you have to do. That's all you have to do. It's fine. Doesn't ruin the song. Not at all. Even if it does, who cares? Just don't say it, please. Please stop saying it, people. White people. <laughs> Why? Is there any air, like anything you want to clear up right now, or? Yeah, just the same that I've been saying in all the videos is that stop being so stuck up, materialistic. Stop getting offended if we go, oh, you're beautiful. Oh God, here comes the bloody incel again. It's that little comment. I guarantee you, women aren't offended if you call them beautiful. It just depends how you do it. 
Okay, don't be like walking down the street and be like, hey, you're beautiful. Because she could be like, who's this bloody stranger? Because I don't imagine he's just like doing it in a nice setting or he sort of briefly knows the person or, you know, can just sort of get the general mood. What's going on? I bet his is more like a, more like a builder on scaffolding, shouting at a woman, catcalling her, and then being like, but it's a compliment. No, it's not. That's never been a compliment. Just leave women alone. Stop getting offended if you go, oh, you're beautiful. People like this man in general, like incels, always believe they're like, oh, look, I'm just a bloody great guy. I compliment women all the time. You're a fucking weirdo. You're a bloody weirdo. I bet this guy's probably just like, oh, hey, you're beautiful. You want to drink sometime? And then the girl, you know, just rejects him politely and he's immediately like, is it because I'm five foot? Do you want me dead? You're not my god, or my father, or my boss. You better be glad that you're white because otherwise I'd be fully prepared to say it because it's okay because I have black friends. Just stop saying it. Now, if somebody, you know, upsets me and he happens to be black or steals from me, then yeah, I mean, that word comes out of my mouth. I'm not gonna lie. Initially, when I first saw this man, I just hoped he would get some help that he needed. However, upon all these, you know, videos, and I found more of him just screaming at people. This guy is insane. Genuinely insane. Hey. Where's my bias guy? I was asking sit you that. Sit down, I wanted to sit down. All you girls go for the big bullies. You know what? Big tough guy Reagan on me. Did you hear the language coming out of this woman's mouth? Do you, 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 you hear the language that came out of this woman's mouth? Yeah. Because my son I don't know what's Because I've never had a situation like this. I'm already having a bad day. I didn't day. either. Why are you yelling at me? Because this I'm is fucking gonna... stupid. I'm now just hoping no one lets this man buy a gun. Because he will go straight back to that bagel shop. And that sounded a bit like a joke. But it wasn't really a joke. I've only said that because I'm in the UK. And I'm quite confident he won't fly over here and shoot me. Or at least it'd be a lot more difficult than if it was in America. But I feel like one day... He may, may shoot someone. I don't know, That is that like Libble or something? It was like a guess. So, I guess, no, he won't. However, in true internet fashion, a white man has done something a bit crazy, being, you know, misogynistic or sexist and, you know, obviously a little bit racist and uh, just made, made some money off it. Why not monetize it? Bagel guy Chris Morgan signs deal to fight other viral celebrities. Oh Jesus Christ, I really hope his first opponent isn't a woman or one of his black friends. Apparently it's a contract to fight other viral celebrities, which means his potential opponents include that bloody panda with hay fever, the guy in the orange doing the old dancing, and uh, you know, that baby who bit that, that other kid's finger, because that's just such a funny video. It's a really funny video, that. It was always funny, especially the first time I watched it. Very, very funny. Really funny. Oh, have you seen Charlie bit my finger? No. I mean, I have, but I'm bloody sad I did, because that's a shite video. Don't know why I'm going off, but that baby is a bitch. That baby's an idiot. Not funny. That's GBH. I actually really, really hate that video. It's just not funny. That's like annoying orange levels funny. So, not funny whatsoever. If this man fights that baby, I hope the baby loses. And to be fair, that's probably the fairest fight he could do. Not because of the height, but because of the weight class, okay? That wasn't a short joke, that was a weight joke. A weight joke, which is infinitely okay. It's not. It's not, I'm sorry to have involved. Even though this guy's a prick. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go to your level. Which is de- No! 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 You're better than that, Kieran, you're just better than that. You didn't need to do that. But you've left it in the video anyway, haven't you? Yes, I have. So... Bagel Man has also decided to release merch. I know someone else who has released merch, but we'll get onto that a little bit later today in this video, so stay tuned. But Bagel Man has released merch featuring some of his famous catchphrases. You're not God! or my father, or my boss. And also the very well-known second catchphrase, you are not God, or my father, or my boss. How has he written that twice and it's different? Like you're the one that said it. He also has one more piece of merchandise that I'm about to show you. And why not when he's obviously just so bloody good at graphic design? 
When I get annoyed at them, I do say that word. <laughs> That's a joke. I made that in Photoshop. That's not actually a bit of merch that he's made. But I wouldn't put it past him at this point. But whilst I was perusing in Photoshop, I bloody made my own merch. What's that, Kieran? Yes, wait here. Don't go anywhere. Look in the cupboard. Oh! Mm -mm -mm. Oh, wait, what's that, Kieran? That's just a little bit in the front. Oh, is it? Oh! Oh, look at that. Pop it on, Kieran. But don't do it on camera because everyone will see your body. Your disgusting body. <laughs> uh, okay. Oh, look at this. Look. Look at that. Oh. Look at the back. Look at this. What an angle this is. Do you want a better one? Look at the... Look at the, look at the back on that. Look at the back. Look at the back. <laughs> Let's have a look at... The black version! Ah! Yes, that's right. We've got a white one. We've got a black one. Because unlike this man, I'm not a racist. On the back it says, I can't skate or speak. Okay, and you're like, oh, that's quite cool. It's a bit... Whoa! Hang on. There's a bit more to it than that, mister. Look, that little bit in the circle is there. What's that? Oh, is that just a pan, Karen? No, it's a bunch of THs. Because I can't speak. I've got that whole thing going on, don't I? And now it's on the top. And the rest of it's just, you know, just sort of made that a bit up. But I quite like it. I actually really like this. And if you like it, that's great. And if you want to support me, that is very much appreciated. I wanted to make something that I would wear myself. Because I do wear it myself. That's the video for today. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to become a scribber, as you are now called, or a scriber. I haven't decided which one I want to say it yet. Don't forget to like the video. And thank you very much. I love all of you, every single one of you. I will see you in the next video. And I am very, very sweaty right now. So sweaty. It's boiling in here. I've been drinking a coffee throughout this. And this is probably why I'm just jib, jib, bloody jib jabbering on. I genuinely think I'm going to die young. Women. Women in general. I love women, specifically women, the ones in general, women. I love women. You know who doesn't? Shane Dawson, he likes cats.